Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, it's still warm out there and we're going to be looking ahead to more 80s for Wednesday, but then we'll start to see temps back off just a touch for Thursday, Friday, and then the big back off into this weekend. We're looking at 60s for Sunday and Monday. That's going to be about 10 degrees cooler than normal for this time of year, and we'll have a slow warm up into next week. It's actually expected to be cooler than normal for a good bit of next week. So if you love the warmth, soak it up now. Conditions are dry around here, so as this front moves in, see there's going to be some shower activity with it. The front's going to be moving into the mountains and that precipitation is just going to break apart. Unfortunately, we only have about a 20% chance of rain out of this, and it's going to come very late Friday night into early Saturday. Behind the front, a nice cool down. If you're really craving that fall feel, this will finally be it. First alert radar, though, is all clear at the moment, and we could use the rain. We're behind by over two inches now, just for the month of September and into October. Uh, it's been such a dry spell for us, um, and none of it's coming tonight. We're looking mostly clear across the area with upper to mid 50s 59 for the upstate 56 in the mountains and then into tomorrow afternoon looks familiar doesn't it very uh, classic low 80s like we've had over the last several days 76 in Asheville 83 for you in Anderson and 82 in Spartanburg. Now we continue to track the tropics, something else we've been tracking for a while, along with the dry weather and the heat. It's been Tropical Storm Philippe. Uh, this one is just north of the British Virgin Islands, um, and it's going to continue to move toward the north. So uh, being drawn up toward Bermuda. Unfortunately, the track has actually moved a little bit farther to the west, not going to bring impacts for the United States, but does mean that tropical storm conditions are likely for Bermuda uh, as we head into the weekend. So Friday into Saturday, Saturday shouldn't be a huge deal for them. And luckily uh, it does not. It's, we're not expecting it to uh, intensify into a hurricane any longer. As it moves into some of those cooler waters in the north, it's going to diminish uh, to a remnant low. So looking ahead on your next seven days, we've got mostly sunny skies Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Some good weather for high school football, whatever you've got planned late in the week. And then just a slight chance of rain Saturday. Definitely not worth canceling plans over because I expect a few sprinkles. Many areas will not even see rain, but it will be a breezy day, so it might be tough to get out and rake leaves and do things outside on Saturday. Sunday, wind begins to settle down, but look at that 60s on Sunday as well as Monday and those lows down in the 40s. I'm not too concerned about frost in the upstate yet. But in the mountains, we'll have to watch out for it, especially by Sunday night as that wind calms down and temperatures get down into the upper 30s. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. Scan the code on your screen and you can get the app for free. And we'll be letting you know on the app when we're expecting those frosts and freezes so you can protect your plants if you need to. Um, and also whatever your next big thing is in the weather, we'll push it to the app so you are the first to know. Now